Hello YouTube. Hello Booktube. This is Johnny. <clears throat> I noticed it's been three days since I made a video. I wasn't going to make a video, but hey, I figured I don't want to get out of the routine of making a video. Well, there has been reasons why uh, I have a but, um, yeah, as far as what I've been reading, Sunday, today is, uh, it's a Tuesday night here in West Michigan. To, last Sunday, I had to go downtown to our privately owned retail bookstore. They sell books and magazines and children's books and fantasy and they sell newspapers so Carol wanted me my wife wanted me to go down to, down Sunday and get Sunday papers <clears throat> so I went downtown Sunday Carol came back Monday evening around 5 30 she got in from Denver into Grand Rapids and when I was at Reader's World they had this book 50% off this novel and it was on my list it's been on my radar for a while so I bought it and I've been reading this Sunday Monday Tuesday Ohio a novel by Stephen Markley so I've been reading this and uh, when I'm in the right presence of mind I read it yesterday at the book nook I volunteered at the library to use bookstore I read it uh, I read it last night before I went to bed. Uh, I read some of it today. So This uh, novel, Ohio, has been all over Booktube. People have done reviews about it. and uh, Thus far, I've, it's not blown me away. It reminds me of that novel I was reading by Carolyn Shute, The Merry Men. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, a novel about people who live in a small town that has basically gone into decline and the people are on drugs and the people are hopeless and all the stores are boarded up and there's this sense of desperation among the people so I was reading that I have coming this week volume two of the Theoretical Practical Theology. I mentioned that I had pre-ordered it and I got an email from Reform Heritage Books that they or they sent it. Reform Heritage Books is just in Grand Rapids, so it should come sometime this week. So but I've been reading a little bit of this off and on since I got it last year. Yeah, this was published in 2018. It was translated out of the Latin by Todd M. Reasoner. Petrus Van Mistret, volume two. I think this is gonna be a six volume set when it's completely published. It's never been translated, the whole thing. So it's kind of, if you're really into classical Dutch Reformed theology, it's, it's, it's a must. And I've still been reading uh, Joseph Assop's memoirs. I've seen the best of it, memoirs. I read this, and I'm still reading the Reformation commentary on Romans 1 through 8. I am on Romans chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. So that's what I'm reading. These are the only books I have up here now. I took everything down into the lower level. These are the books I'm going to read. Uh, I have that book on the golden age of book making and selling and the Dutch golden age over there. I kept that up here, and uh, but that's about all. I can't. I, I came to realize my brain was uh, was cracking up. And I can't focus like I used to. I don't know what it is. Maybe 
I have had a, a brain breakdown, but I was getting overloaded. And so I decided just to focus on a couple books and hopefully finish them. At least that's my dream. <laughs> I don't know. It could be just something I'm going through, a passing state of being. I don't know. I haven't really felt well. I know I have a cold and I'm going through some kind of weird black kind of place. I don't know what it is. It's So I'm just uh, praying for grace, praying for the Holy Spirit, praying for God to uphold me in the midst of this, this horrible experience I'm going through. My arm is slowly healing, but it's very sore where I bruised it. Getting those uh, two bookcases a couple weeks ago. So that's what's going on here in my book world. Uh, like I said, I don't feel well. Outwardly, inwardly, physically, intellectually, spiritually, I just feel kind of, you know, sick. <laughs> now, I don't want a lot of comments. I'm just telling you, I'm just being out front. I'm just being honest. But I don't want any kind of, you know, I'm sorry you feel bad, you know, it's just, the, you know, it's with me, it's normal. I go through these states and, you know, I'm 60, I'm going to be 67 years old and I've gone through a lot of shit <laughs> in my life. A lot of dark times and struggles and depressions and despair and desperation and hopelessness and frustration and anger and uh, you know, sense of hopelessness, and it's just what life is. You just keep going and praying that God will have mercy on you and, and give you grace just to stand in the day, in the evil day. So, I just want to check in. Like I said, it's been three days. I don't like going four days, five days, six days without making a video. So I just thought I'd just hey, let it all hang out, be real, be honest, be forthright, let it all hang out. So I hope you're having a good week. Uh, it's a Tuesday night here in, in West Michigan. It is 10.01 at night. Tomorrow's a Wednesday, June the 5th. I plan to spend the day in silence, praying, praying for healing. Uh, my wife is working tonight and works tomorrow night and uh, so I just you know I just wait it out you know look to the Lord so I'll sign off I'll download this video and uh, till next time bye